today we are at a stealth flagpole, which means the entire site is hidden inside of this thing, in the middle of nowhere, way, way back behind someone's backyard. I don't know why there's a stealth pole here. This is like the worst thing to work on for us because we actually have to take it apart before we can even start working. But our crane has just arrived and he's getting in this tiny, tiny yard so we can get start working. This big, big piece of equipment is gonna fit in here. It's crazy. Wow. I'm pretty sure Every tire spins independently on both sides, so there's a lot of maneuverability for this machine. Look, this is the space he's fitting in for the day. And one, two, three, four, there's five panels up at the top that are all movable on both sides. They're sort of um, like pinched together and bolted with uh, vinyl bolts. And we have to figure out where the problem is in one of those areas and hopefully only take down the panel associated with where the problem is instead of taking down multiple ones, which we then have to tension back and put back up at the end of the day. Bah! Look at this guy. He is getting in. <laughs> Amazing. Plenty of room. Yep, he made it. He made it. This machine is massive and it only goes about 45 miles an hour down the highway. So they get up really early to be here. Sweet. All right, so the crane's being set up. Meantime, I it and I've set up my Enritsu, which is a spectrum analyzer. Um, I'm going to be connecting the end of this, this piece right here, into these hard lines to read where we're having problems with RF or the radio frequency. But first I need to set the proper frequency to begin with for it to be calibrated. We're working on um, 2100 technology today, so I'm going to make sure I get this ready to go so everything will read properly. This is what we call sweeping lines. You don't do it with a broom, you do it with a spectrum analyzer. All right, so I've disconnected and hooked up my first jumper and I'm looking at my spectrum analyzer and these readings are off. Like this is, this is pretty much dead. What we're looking at probably is a TMA. I'm gonna look for DTF, which is distance to fault. And we're gonna see if we can find how far away or how far up the tower issue might be. Going up. We're in the rainforest. Mm-hmm. Seems like that. So we have removed all these vinyl bolts down both sides of this panel and we're preparing to try to lift this panel off using this crane basket. So got to rig it up for that. Strap positioner, baby straps, and all the bolts and everything out. We're about ready to take this off. signals.
our crane operator. We're coming off. Pretty hanging. Here's our stuffs. We picked the right panel. <laughs> <laughs> it never happens. <laughs> Sweet. And there's the replacement part. And there's the sector we're working on. TMA has been taken out of the line. We've loaded this jumper so that we can go look at it through that in Ritsu. And that's what we're gonna do. Just put the last bolts in. Did it. Very pretty. Yes, guineas, I hear you. Baby, that's a big boy. We got goats over here. Or maybe sheep a few weeks ago when we were out here. Baby goat. Oh, so cute.